Greg Heyman with a total of 222.5 and Pedro Sanchez out of Victoria with 220. From class now, this is the snatch section. Ricky Crump from South Australia, already successful with 125. A second attempt at 130 on the bar. Spell I haven't seen too much of, but uh, has a big name here in South Australia, as a lot of lifters do now since the prominence of Dean Lucan in this sport. And oh, that's a brave attempt. Ricky Crump lifting 130. Looks good, Crump. Yeah, he's the name that we should look for. South Australian. Rosnan the boots now for Ronnie Laycock, the Tasmanian. He's already lifted 125, attempting 130 to equal Crump. This fellow is one of the most accomplished lifters in Australia. He's represented many, many times. In fact, it's a hot chance to represent Australia in the coming world titles. 130 on the bar, going after Crump. Laycock, no, and he can't hold it. And look at the look at the bar. Ho, ho, Laycock. <laughs> Paul Harrison from New South Wales. His first attempt with 132.5 on the bar. This is the heaviest weight so far in the 75 kilogram class. Harrison, another lifter we haven't seen a lot of on television. They tell me he's plenty tough and uh, plenty strong. Oh, and plenty of strain there as he fights the weight, but he gets it up at 132.5. And that's a great start from Paul Harrison from New South Wales. This battle is on. Third attempt now at 132.5 for Rick Crump from South Australia. Going after Paul Harrison, who's already lifted this weight. Ronnie Laycock to disappointment. Crump in some big company here at the moment. 132.5 and that looks a good lift. Oh, the South Australian looks good. He's come right back into this. A wonderful lift from Ricky Crump and the South Australians go mad. Oh boy, oh boy, what an interesting battle now after the stats division. Rick Crump from South Australia on 132.5. Paul Harrison from New South Wales on the same weight. Ronnie Laycock from Tasmania back on 125. Clean and jerk now. Rick Crump, South Australia, second attempt. He's already lifted 155. He's chasing 160 on the bar this time. Boy, oh boy, has he burst on the scene this afternoon in the national titles. A nice style about him, too. He goes about it the right way. Plenty of courage now as he racks it and gets the legs to work. Ricky Crump, look at the weight bouncing on the bar. Up it goes. He'll hold it. 160. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I like this below. Oh, he's good. The South Australian is forcing the pace. Paul Harrison, New South Wales. First attempt, 165. Putting the pressure on Crump. Oh, this is a good battle. The little men and the middleweights doing some big stuff here this afternoon at the national titles. Harrison has a little earring in his ear. I won't say too much about that. If he gets this up, I don't care if he's got four in his ear. Shows plenty of brawn. Look at the look on his face now. This is the clean and jerk. Gets it to the shoulders. Oh, look at the strain as the blood pumps up to the brain. The brain says I'm hurting, but the muscles say I can do it. Harrison skies at 165 and what a battle he takes the lead now in the 75 kilogram class oh this is a beauty Ricky Crump third attempt 165 trying to match Harrison now well what a battle and Laycock the disappointment these two have been at it hammer and tong 165 as the strain gets there and there's the wobble, steadies the bar, now he can do that, he can take his time, must keep the bar nice and straight in the head, no he can't do it, oh but what a brave afternoon from Rick Crump, he's come out of the clouds and tested them, that was good stuff, congratulations to the South Australian, Harrison, 170, Harrison going for the big one, the eyes are narrowing and the brain has just fixed on 170, wouldn't he? Wouldn't this be a shock if he takes this? Plenty of time to think about it. 170 on the bar, this could be a national title. Oh, look at the concentration as the air goes in. Oh, and there it goes to the shoulders, and look at the strain as the legs get it, get it up, the crowd right behind him, Harrison with 170, the biggest weight we've seen. 
and there goes the split. Oh, he's got him up. No, he hasn't. He's got the bubble. Oh, the bar's down, and so is Harrison. Oh, what bad luck. 170, and that it was there. It was there. Well, up to this fellow now, Ronnie Laycock from Tasmania, one of the most accomplished lifters in this country. He's got 172.5. Now, he can win this division if he can sky it. He's only lifted one decent weight today, but this one can do it. Let's see the ticker. Oh, he put it down. Well, his form is not there. Laycock's form is gone. Harrison still in the box seat. Laycock. Do or die this one. 172.5. This is the upset of the national titles, but he can bounce back. He's a fighter, this fella. He's the street fighter of weightlifting. Never gives in. There it goes. Now, can he get it there? He's lost it before. No, this time he gets it to the shoulders. All he's got to do is jerk it. Up it goes. And Laycock fights back. Oh, he's a genius, this fella. He never gives up. Ronnie Laycock from Tasmania has snatched it with a clean and jerk, if that makes sense. What an incredible battle. Well, Ronnie Laycock from Tasmania and Paul Harrison both finished with a total of 297.5. Laycock.